we're talking about completing the square, which really means to force your expression to have some x plus a number squared in it. That's really what completing the square means. So if you take something like x squared plus 6x plus 13, and you want to force it to have x plus some number, let's call it number with a circle around it, and then some other number, let's say, like that. So, so here's the two numbers that we're actually looking for to get from this. So we have to fill in this here. Well, working sort of in a, going this way with this guy, this would be x squared plus, and then you multiply these together and double them. So there's twice whatever this is, x, plus, and then whatever this happens to be squared. And then you add this guy. So really, <coughs> this piece here has to end up being 13. And this piece, oh, runaway markers, this piece here has to be 6. So then you ask yourself, okay, so 2 times what is 6? Well, that means this is 3, right? So 2 times 3 is 6. So this piece is 3. And then you've got, now you've got this piece, this is 3 squared, which is 9 plus what is 13. So this is 9 plus this guy has to be 13, so this guy has to be 4, right? So I've completed the square with this and gotten to x plus 3 squared plus 4 is really what this is. When I complete the square, I force this thing to have some squared term in it. And we can check that by multiplying 3x doubled. 3 squared plus 4. And you can see that we just, this is exactly what we had over here. x squared plus 6x plus 13. And there it is. Big check mark.